Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, we're in Adobe Photoshop 2022. This release just hatched today. It just popped and it's got a great new feature or a bunch of new features. Let me show you. The first one I want to show you is hover auto masking or auto masking hover, depending on how you want to call it. But here it is. It's very, very simple. You'll see here I've got a stock image here of three ladies in Mardi Gras type uh, masks or something like that. And I want to select a object or select one of them. Head over to the left side in your toolbar, left click on object selection, and you'll see it's already kind of doing it for me already. But what ends up happening is, is you'll see here it opens the object finder, and Photoshop is now finding objects inside here. So we've got this here is an object, it's determined. This lady here is an object, she is an object, this is an object. I don't mean to objectify women, it's just this is how it is in Photoshop. <laughs> but if you look at this one, I'm going to hover over top of her. And now I've got the object finder. I'm going to left click on it and it's going to give me the marching ants, which tells us that it's a selection and it will go all around her in a second, just like I thought it would. It did not do a perfect job. It got some of this lady's here um, arm, but as with anything, you can go ahead and just switch over to the uh, quick selection tool, for example, and you can add or subtract. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and let's just increase the size of that. And let's hold down the Alt or the Option key, and I'm going to subtract her arm there, and maybe this component here, and add that in. Jeez, come on, Curtis. You get the point. You guys have all done this before, but the Auto Object Selection, or the Auto Hover, is now a new feature inside Photoshop, and it's very good, and it's improving all the time. Also, keep in mind, you can always, of course, go ahead and left-click on Select and Mask, do the masking features, etc., edge detection, and all that stuff. I'm just going to cancel out of it. Just wanted to show you that that is an option. And lastly, if you want to go ahead and make changes to this, you just want to go back to your object selection tool. And you're going to see right here this little uh, uh, settings bar. You can left click on it and you can change the color. You can change the opacity to show, not show, and if you want auto refresh and manual refresh. All now inside Photoshop 2022. I got a ton more tutorials coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.